the tenth and really very interesting way why how uh, of ways people burn money is by joining multi-level marketing or multi-level chain or multi-level schemes offered to them by friends or things they read somewhere. I cannot make enough noise on this. And every day I see people separated from their money. Multi-level marketing takes advantage of people in church. They know we are very trusting. They, it takes advantage of people of certain community. They know we're very trusting. When somebody comes to you and say, the first man, the man who joined this thing last, he's now on level five. Uh, if you bring five friends, you will go to level this and then your money will increase. They'll tell you also, buy this soap, buy this uh, medicine, buy this tea. Anyone who drank this tea, they lose weight when they want to. Multi-level marketing only pays the person who founded it and a couple of people under him. Too many people in our community have joined. They go to the meetings. They are screaming, we shall be wealthy. We shall be this. They make them try to sell what nobody is buying at, an, at a price no one is buying. In the end, your subscription money has gone away. In the Money Masterclass, when eventually we begin to challenge you to subscribe, it will be for information, for knowledge, which you can take to go and activate and make something happen for you. And it has no bring two friends, then get this. No, rather hours, hundreds of hours of teaching on how to be a millionaire, how to be a billionaire, how to start a business, reasons why you should own your own company is what we teach at the Money Masterclass. Multi-level marketing is an indirect way of the Ponzi scheme, making money out of people by promising them what may never happen. In the years that I have been on earth and I've heard of multi-level marketing, I have never met one person, one, one, oh no, one who have prospered through the multi-level marketing scheme. So you must bear in mind this truth. Number 11, where people burn money, is buying recreational vehicles. What is a recreational vehicle? You have a car to take you to work, but then you went and bought a boat which you might ride on water with for only two weeks in the whole year. It is tying down $50,000 hundred thousand dollars some people their recreational vehicle maybe uh, some sports utility vehicle they used to go compete in a go-kart place you bought it thirty thousand pounds but you only use it one week in the year recreational vehicles which you said okay i'll be by i'll be dry, riding my motorcycle so you bought yourself a nice Harley Davidson, $10,000, $20,000. But your Harley Davidson is gathering dust and spiders are riding on it because you hardly have the time. So $25,000 that could have bought shares in some of the greatest performing companies on earth has been tied to this recreational vehicle which you hardly ride. You're burning money and burning opportunities. The next way many people burn money is the blind purchase of secondhand things without a price in mind. You just saw the price. Oh, this thing is this amount. They brought down the value of this car. They brought down the value of that. And it is second hand you did not realize there could be a catch it may have issues i can never forget many years ago thinking i was saving money when i was just starting to grow in money management so a nice bmw 7 series advertised for such a ridiculous amount so i went into the showroom 
and they quickly demonstrated the card to me, but they will never show you the problem. I think hardly have I paid and driven out of the showroom that it leaked almost a gallon of, 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 of oil. It meant you had to be topping the oil almost every hour for you to drive so the engine doesn't know. By the time I got back to the company, I didn't want to mention the company. It's somewhere in East London. They have a name that suggests that they can be rude to you. I wouldn't say their name. I think some of you would deduce. <laughs> they really were to me and told me we wouldn't take the car back. So I and my money were separated because I was looking for cheap. I burnt the money of the BMW. I cannot forget having to go to another company and part exchange it for a Toyota, a BMW 7 Series, part exchange for a Toyota Camry. I'm glad they even took it from me. The 13th th way many people burn money is regular eating at fast food restaurants. Every day you eat out. You eat out as a husband and wife. You eat out as a single person. It hasn't occurred to you that the amount you paid for one meal will have bought all the condiments for probably one week. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a good time and go to restaurants and let somebody else cook for you to enjoy. But when that's all you do all the time, you're always ordering in, you're ordering pizza, you're ordering this, you're ordering that. You've never taken the time to sit down and do a calculus to realize that, look, if I really want to walk the path of wealth creation, my pot too must make some noise in my kitchen. If you're always ordering, next time you make an order of any of these meals, just sit down. Let's take, in fact, one of the simplest, the most popular orders we all make. Something that has to do with uh, chicken and fries. I don't want to mention any company. I don't want nobody running after me for compensation. But all those companies that sell us chicken and fries, sometimes you get two drumsticks and some fries. And you pay something like four pounds. Uh, 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 four pounds in the city of London where I live if you go to Liverpool Street you might buy two whole chicken two whole chicken I don't know how much they sell now that was the days when I really had the time and there was a guy who used to sell live chicken I will buy a whole chicken for two pounds let us assume it only buys one whole chicken and some potatoes you got two drumsticks for that amount. Yeah, it's great to eat out once in a while. But you see, we do not realize that a little here, a little there is what makes us lose all our monies. So you've got to realize we burn money by always living that way.